with the release of Veritas Flex User Analytics for Splunk application, we provide Flex Appliance customers with an easy method to analyze appliance and net backup logs. Net Backup Flex User Analytics comes with multiple pre-configured widgets, which offer a simple to analyze view of critical security events to assist the administrators in identifying existing and potential threats. After the application is installed on the Splunk server, log forwarding must be enabled on Flex Appliance. Simply provide the um, server's IP or name, port, and the polling interval. Additionally, uh, the Net Backup Primary Server instance audit events can also be redirected to the system logs. And if the appliance log forwarding is already configured, these audit events will also be automatically sent to the syslog server. Net Backup Flex User Behavior Analytics can be installed from Splunk Base. However, at the time of this recording, the application is not yet available there. Alternatively, it can be also installed from locally downloaded file simply by pointing to flex.spl and clicking upload. Now uh, we are ready to explore the Flex User Analytics, which is located in the Apps pane. Uh, after opening the application, uh, we can choose Available Dashboard. Uh, once the dashboard is visible, we must select the source appliance and optionally the time range. In the failed logging attempts section, we have failed SSH logging attempts by source IP address bar chart. While failed logins can occasionally occur as users simply mistype password, having single or even multiple IPs with many failed SSH logins can be an indicator of a break-in attempt since hackers frequently deploy scripts with commonly used passwords. Hovering over the bar chart reveals the precise count. Failed SSH logging attempts table shows us which facility, be it multi-factor authentication or password, rejected the login. The next two widgets provide us with data about failed console sign-in attempts by username and provide associated timestamp. By analyzing data in the failed login attempts section, administrator can identify potential attack surface, SSH or console, uh, and determine if a particular user uh, or even a particular workstation has been specifically targeted by hackers. Console user insights displays some insights into whether there has been some unusual user account related activity. Hackers, once they obtain access to the system with a powerful role, will create user accounts for themselves. And later to cover their tracks, will delete those accounts. The high activity level shown in user creation and user removal widgets could imply that breach has already occurred. Users listed in locked user table may be also targeted by hackers. The shell history section presents us with two tables, actual history of commands and history of commands executed from elevated shell. We can see here if there has been any attempts to obfuscate traces of any potentially dangerous system activities. In the critical security event section, we report potentially risky commands and events. The objective here is to alert the security administrator to any suspicious commands and user actions which under normal circumstances would not be occurring. For instance, disabling and enabling shell history, removing audit and security logs, modifying date or stopping system logging facility can be early indicators of breach system with hackers attempting to remove traces of their activity. Correspondingly, in security events, we will report uncommon security functions such as changing multi-factor authentication status or single sign-on disablement. So far, we have focused on the Flex Appliance log analysis. In the next three sections, we will look at Net Backup. 
In the Net Backup Application Instances section, there are three widgets, Instance Management, Instance SSH Failed Login Attempts, and Net Backup Web UI Assigned in Security Events. Net Backup Instance related actions are displayed in Instance Management table. After the initial environment setup, any high level of activity visible in instance management widget should prompt detailed investigation, as instance creations and deletions are not very common tasks beyond the initial setup. Instance SSH failed login attempts, similarly to appliance failed SSH login attempts, provides us with the user account and originating IP address of the rejected instance login. The Net Backup Web UI Sign In Security Events focuses on user accounts that have had their credentials rejected and the locked accounts. By default, Net Backup will lock user after five unsuccessful login attempts. Repeated account lockouts for the same user may suggest a break in attempt. Next section, consisting of a single widget, Net Backup Access Management shows us security-related objects such as certificates, access tokens, API keys, security events, and users who triggered those events. The data from this widget potentially can be used to determine if someone is attempting to break in using API. Warm Instance Shell History provides administrator with an easy-to-parse view of command line actions performed on write once read many instance. The last widget in our dashboard is also Net Backup Instance related and it shows us a log of malware scanner events listing backup ID and the number of infected files. Net Backup Flex User Behavior Analytics is freely available and it is an invaluable tool in security monitoring data protection environment. By correlating data exposed by various available widgets, administrators are better equipped to early detect and stop the break-in attempts, data deletion trials, and possible security breaches.